Greetings, my dear friends. Ben Pearson, the Rosa Tracker, and we are gonna start working on our limestone outpost, which would be most exciting to see happen. Um, what do we need before we can go there? Well, we're gonna need some more miners than we currently have. Mm. We have enough train stops. Yeah. Lots of foundries. I don't think... Let's just see what happens when we put a foundry. See if there's any recipes that involve limestone. Nope. Crucibles. Yeah, we got some crucibles and such that we need to burn. Uh, let's go see what we can do to get rid of those. Hmm. Okay, so small furnace twos, I think we want to take the large furnaces, we could take maybe a full stack of these, we'll take one stack I think of those, the small furnaces we're going to go ahead and leave here, okay, sandstone, limestone, stone, stone. We'll need to drop. Let's see. We got some filters that we're going to stick in somewhere, probably here. That should do. And let's drop off some of the motors. Motor level twos. Uh, they can go in maybe this guy. No, how about here? Yeah. Okay. We could drop off some iron wire, maybe a few other things, but we're looking pretty decent. Uh, we need miners, miners, miners. So we have these guys. Do we have bigger miners? That's foundries. We had bigger miners, they would be here. What do we need to make the bigger miners again? Small miner ones and steel beams. Well, we can take some. That's not going to be a problem. Honestly, they should be fairly straightforward to make. Hmm. We could make these just about anywhere. Well, small miners, is that something we do put on the bus? No, we don't put those on the bus. So we're going to take all of these small miners and we're going to take a stack of steel beams. Let's go drop off our stone here while we're at it. It's tempting to take the limestone. You know what? We'll actually take all of our limestone for once. We're gonna drop off the stone. We'll drop this off and then... That's fine. Hmm, 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 hmm. Drop off some potion making stuff. And I think this will do. Uh, power poles, yes. We need all of the different types of power poles. We're gonna need some long ones, especially. Uh, belts, we've got enough of the steel. Yeah, let's see, do we have steel beams? Let's just steal some steel beams. This will do fine. Power poles are down the line. Not this lamps, maybe here. 
down here. This is where the power poles are made. Yep. We're gonna take the power pole twos. We're gonna take a stack of those pylons. Let's... wind turbines? You know what? Let's get some wind turbines we'll take with us. They're gonna be able to be made pretty easily from this. And then we need power pole ones. Okay. Let's get some power pole ones. Yeah, limestone is our checkpoint. And then as soon as limestone checkpoint's done, then let's do mineral processing two, metalworking two. Lubricate everything, I guess. Get some steel cables. We can get some limestone processing. Um, limestone processing should happen before any of that stuff. Get the mining productivity, then mineral processing too. Silica processing too. Gravel into sand and dust. That's cool. That uh, would make a difference. Hmm, glass making from soda ash. Okay. Sure, why not? Vulcanism, I have a feeling, is going to be a valuable one. Mining productivity... Okay. That will do for a little while. But this all relies on us doing limestone first. Oh! Um. I'll go ahead and put another guy outputting belts. That'll probably make a bit of a difference, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we're actually not producing as much as we could because that is full. All right. And then the iron wire, let's stick in here. In fact, let's just dump as much as we can. Some iron plates, we can probably find one of these tools, surely. Here we go. And stone brick will stick in our pipe manufacturing facilities. We could also just start paving. Maybe that's what we should do. Okay. Anywho, let's start making railroads. We're going to do a blueprint section. We're going to find a way to incorporate uh, power poles, I think, into this too. Hmm. Well, we will get there. It's too bad we can't do more with the robots, but they're just so freaking complicated. Oh yeah, I'm very much looking forward to having robot delivery service being activated. So, okay, let's change this one to rails. Let's just put it maybe here and there. Um, we do need the big poles. Oh, we do have them right there. Okay. Let's see, that's bauxite. We're gonna want to get off on the bauxite line, but for now, let's just keep building this down. Okay, then this guy is also going to need to connect to here. Hang on, let me just remind myself. Coming this direction. Hmm. 
Okay. So we're going this way. This is left hand drive. I've suddenly become British. So you need one to connect to that way. And then we need, we're driving up here. And we need to connect to here. Okay. So we're through the intersection at that point in time. Uh, this can be just a standard crossing. You can be there, you can be here. This needs to be a chain signal to prevent future madness. Actually, that should be a chain. Um, this should be a standard. This should be a standard. <clears throat> yeah, I think that intersection will do. And then what we're gonna do... Oh no, we gotta go through cliffs. Um, I don't want to use my last cliff explosives to take care of that. Okay, so, <clears throat> yep, uh, let's deconstruct this. We can't use our standard pattern yet. I always forget to kill cliffs. Cliffs just annoy me to pieces, but okay, let's take this one down as close as it can get, which is there, and then we'll go three apart. That seems to be good. Probably going to need more signals than this. Uh, let's put signals right here. And that's going to be our standard pole. So we're going to do... Let's go down to the end of here. We're forgetting to take power down as well. So we'll do that. When we take power, we can also take um, over the world. No, we can take, let's put power right there and right here. I'm going to move this guy up one. Actually, let's put power here. What I'm trying to do is to kind of standardize the spot. Now, this doesn't really matter much because we're not going to be a standard length. But this guy needs to be pushed right there. Okay, now we're going to go two lengths down. Okay. We're going to put the power poles right here. And then let's just see here if we can do this. Oh, they actually set this up so this works. Wow. That's nice. Okay, so we're going to set windmills as a part of our standard design. How cool is that, guys? But 
very cool. Yep, I guess I gotta answer my own questions because, you know. Alright, we're gonna copy... Let's go into map mode and copy everything from here down to there. And we're gonna come down, walk carefully. We should be able to just line this up right there and paste and it should just put everything down. And of course we get one blueprint segment. So blueprint Go ahead and just do one segment right to there. Probably snap the grid three, four, and then the height should be sixty six, actually, sixty four. I think that will work. Great blueprint. Yeah, we'd have to go through that, which I don't want to do. Let's see. We've got the limestone here. Um Tell you what, let's just build a little disconnect here. Let's see, we're going this way. So we're going to build a train station that connects across like this. And I'm gonna assume it's only one way. Let's go one more down. Perfect. Do I not have that much rail with me? Wow, that's what we forgot is rail. Okay, that's fair. Uh, do we have a train? No. So we're just gonna do the sad, sad, sad walk of shame back up here. Now, our limestone will also only be semi-automatic to begin with. So that's going to be annoying to say the least. How much is our compressed nitrogen uh, helping? Wind turbines. So these guys are closed backup turbines. Hmm, maybe. Well, close backup turbines very consistent. So they do operate for a while. We probably could do more of them. Maybe we'll do that. Okay. What do we need? We need train engines. Which are not going to be built there. The cable cars, they're down here, I think. Oh, I really need to get this uh, so we have logistic spots that can drop off everything for us. I miss the super simple formulas. But the big thing that we need is... Rail. Crucibles can go here. Mm, yeah, we'll put all the little guys in here. Okay. Okay. 
where was our engine cars? Just gotta look for where we use the lube. Here we go. Engine car, choo choo. Cargo wagons, and can we make another locomotive or two? We have an ability to turn around, so I wouldn't hesitate. Do fluid wagons, the locomotive will require a generator. What do we need for the generator again? Rail motor car. Rail motor car to use rails without placing a locomotive. I don't understand why we would want to do that. Guess you could do a tiny, tiny car, but why? Yeah, maybe. Maybe they have their their uses. So let's see. Was the generator? Generator is one of these. Medium minor twos we could do. Interesting. Um, I'm okay with just the big guys. We don't really need that much of an increase of throughput. Okay, let's just do this. Generator. Insulated wire, combustion chamber, open turbine, small cargo pod. Bottom line is though, it's going to require some ingredients. I'm going to go drop off the limestone. We'll, we'll move it all eventually to our new limestone spot, but we do kind of need the space for the moment. So can I just save this? Hmm. I mean, whatever. It's been a while since I've dealt with blueprints. I don't remember all their intricacies. Um. Question chamber twos, we don't really need those now. The robo ports, let's go put those out. Like, let's just put a few more of them down. We'll extend the network down here. Okay. That should do, and we have enough rail for a while. Uh, it's the generator that we're needing. Blueprint deployer. Really wonder what that is. Automatically builds an inserted blueprint. What do the storage chests say they do? Generic storage for logistics network. I don't want them to be generic though. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Let's just see. Where was our little dump chest? It's not here. It's not anywhere close to there, actually. Eh. Oh, power switches. That's something we definitely don't... Don't want. They can go in one of these things. Take the wire.
all this insulated wire. We're gonna need a little bit of the insulated wire, so let's go ahead and pick that up. And what else do we need for our generator? I can type. Wow. Jeb. Okay, generator combustion chamber one. Which we used to have a ton of. Now we don't. What does the combustion chambers need? Their chemistry? Small furnace ones. Okay. That's why we can't build any anymore. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's just take a stack of those. And that should do it. There it is. So we can build three of these. Okay. Does that mean we can build the locomotives now? Nope, we need motor, one, steel gears, and glass. All the stuff that we've been systematically trying to eradicate from our inventory. That's all right, okay. We'll get some of these. And then we got some glass here. The filters. We're going to have to dump the filters. That's okay. And then the steel gears we can do from here. Oh, uh, except for we really can't until we dump the filters. Okay, filters go in one of these guys. Okay, let's get some steel gears. Okay. Well, that was one. Oh, we have tons of small furnaces. Jeez. Let's go drop some of those off. I want to get three locomotives and then we do need to try to automate this. I just want one full stack, please. That should be more than enough. You're missing sticks. Okay. That'll get you going. Excellent. And we got one lonely brick. Let's just put him down here. Haha. -ha. Someone's going to wonder why that's there someday, and we are all just going to point and laugh at them. Okay, the steel gears, they're being made and delivered on the line to who knows where. Okay. Good. Now 12 steel gears. The thing that needs the steel gears is way over here. Okay. I think we're looking fine. Let's dump some glass in here. The insulated wire can go in here and our power switches 
We don't have any. Well, we still have tons of them. Never mind. But we can just output them into these guys, which they don't take any. That's fine. Okay, we're doing fine. Anyways, let's go stop by our refueling train stop. And then we're going to take our new train all the way down. How does that sound? Sounds pretty good to me. If we can find our train. Barrel pump we should do something with because it's kind of annoying to keep it in our inventory. Uh, splitters are something we'll probably need. So we should grab those while we're at it. I actually don't know how many barrel pumps I'm actually going to need. Should be splitters somewhere around there. Yep, there we go. We'll drop off the partial stack. Okay, I think this is good enough. Mm hmm. So here's our locomotive. Okay, I'm going to take a another stack of uh, these, where do we make those? It's somewhere vaguely here. We're going to stick those in the pump and let it really get nice and full. Good. Okay, I want our train to be faster, so we're not going to load it up any. Let's bring you down right there. Whee! The trains that are fully empty are just so delightful to be on. It's so much less fuel and everything else, and there's no sense in doing more. I should have probably grabbed some more signals, which is... It's fine. And then we need the chain signal there and here. And then here we need just three of these. Do, do, do. Bing, bing, bing. Let's get our train to stop here. Put maybe da, da, da. Okay, now we should have power. Let's just build power straight out this way and then we'll go ahead and as we're walking out here, we'll add a couple of wind turbines. Good. Boy, this limestone really doesn't look like much, does it? Okay. Let's go ahead and do something like this. This won't get all of it. But it will be enough to get started. Okay. 
We're gonna need to do some kind of processing of the limestone, right? So what we need to do, well, first of all, what do we do with limestone? Don't know. I'm gonna assume we do something with a furnace. So let's see. Let's put medium furnace column. And then we don't have any recipes for them yet. I'm gonna assume there will be. And we'll do something and we'll pass it up this way. Mm, let's switch you to the normal. Put you in. Okay. Let's go ahead and, well, hang on. We need to output there. So we're going to copy all of this, rotate, rotate, and paste it there. So really, hmm. We're gonna stick. We're just gonna dump a bunch of this into this chest. I'm actually gonna pick up a bunch because we want the mines to be operating at full capacity. Okay, we did successfully get this done. Good, good, good. What's our other checkpoint? Optimization demonstration. So we're gonna need to make haste and efficiency modules. Those are fairly straightforward, right? Green wired logic circuit arithmetic circuit. So we can we can make some of those. We'll get our recipe here figured out eventually. Uh, let's have this go to our fueling stop and we'll just have it wait there. Lime. Stone pickup. Okay. We're gonna try to make our train designs a little more efficient. I'm gonna try not to drop my uh, cell phone like I just did. Oops. Good. Dropped off the water. It's loading in far, far more fuel. We should be plenty good to go. Excellent. Um. All right. What do we need to do? I'm going to go ahead and make modules somewhat automatically, but they're going to be somewhere vaguely here. So we have red wire here. So let's jump here. And then we're going to make some green wire. The green wire is never going to be fully automatic.
I mean, it's never gonna go on a real bus line. But that'll make that. And then let's see this guy's. Yeah, that'll do. So we've got the green. Then the green's gonna go. Let's just stick it on a little, little tiny bus line. I'm not going to ever use these, but we need the checkpoint demonstration, so we're going to. In fact, we can probably just make these and stick them in place. Arithmetic and logic. And you need logic and memory. So where's our logic? Here's our logic circuits. We feed them across here. Let's also bring them down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this old trick. We're just going to put the logic circuits on there and then we really don't care. So we're going to dump everything there and this will produce a few. Once we've gotten the first one, I think it'll store four by itself before it takes anything more. Limestone processing is running. How is our science as a whole? We could use some more science processors, I think. It's probably time. Hmm. Electric zipline, it may be time as well. Is that a production building? Yes. Insert logic circuits, lamps, aluminum sheets, glass. So all of that is stuff that we have on our bus. The only thing that I don't know if we have in this vicinity is inserters. Do we have to build that in a large? Yeah, it has to be medium or large. Hmm. So let's see, we've got glass. Uh, logic circuits are these guys. We also have those there. We don't have inserters, so I'm not going to fully automate this, but let's just, uh, let's be cheap. Okay. We're going to stick one of views down here. Okay, we'll need lamps as well, which we should be able to get access to easily. <clears throat> Uh, lamps are where? They're probably on the other side of the belt because of course they would be. Just looking for my lamps. No, they're used for the signals. So they're definitely used there. Wait, 
This guy. It's not lamps. Oh, lamps are... there? Really? Yeah, I don't think so. These guys require lamps and we're not even feeding them to it. So... Lamps come down the red line. Yes, yes, yes. They need graphite, which we don't have any. Okay. That would explain that. Hmm. So what we're gonna do... Is... let's put a splitter in right here. Then we're going to jump all the way over with a red belt here. Then we're gonna come up there and just dump this in here. And then aluminum sheets we can get from right there. And that will be everything except for the inserters, which we've already given it more than enough. We're not gonna need that many labs, but having things automatically go will be helpful. Now, we do need to figure out why we don't have any graphite. And we need to grab some more inserters. Oh man, I look forward to having all of this separated too by trains into better doses. So, check the chlorine. We do have some graphite that's being produced, but it's not a ton. And what's lacking here? Looks like the... Water is the output, but we're outputting fine. I mean, it's hydrogen, but barely. We're doing better than we were. Okay. I guess it's okay. We'll get graphite here eventually, I'm sure. It's just taking a while and the lamps are... Everything's kind of needed a lot right now. We just need all the things and all the stuffs. That's it. We're not picky. Not even a little bit. Don't know what you're talking about, guys. Uh, I think this is gonna do for now. Let's just see if we've built any... The air filters... I keep saying that we need to pick those up to finish that. Let's take a few lamps here. And we'll just dump those off on our science. Let's get our science uh, increased rate a little bit because we seem to not be doing it as fast as we were before. That's kind of annoying. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put a box here. Steel sheets, I don't know what to stick you in. Well, there we go. That will do. Just trying to get rid of it more than anything else. Okay, we got one more. We'll let it keep going for a little while. Put this down. We'll put a plan to have a bunch more too. Because I think it is time to seriously improve our ability to do science. We have basically a standing backlog of this. Yeah, I don't care if the design's not great. 
we're not making the most efficient use of power poles that we possibly could. And then let's go back and do that one more time. So little graphite making it through. Hmm. That is a little bit annoying to say the least. More than a little bit actually. Okay, we got four now. We're continuing to work on more, so this is good. This will more than double the speed that which we can do science, which is most excellent to behold. Most excellent indeed. It's too bad the construction robots couldn't just do it. I want to get the construction robots fully automatic. So it looks like Red is a little behind. And that's mostly because of the making. It's okay though. We have enough. All of these machines are just getting fully loaded and yeah. We've successfully increased our science pretty significantly. All right, next time let's do the lime processing and stuff like that road. Landfill 10. Interesting. So landfill goes into some specific ingredients. Buffer depot, train stop and request depot. Fluid depot and a hangar. Wonder how these depots work. The depots are just huge stuff, I guess. Hmm. Don't know how this works yet. We'll have to try some of this stuff out, but the transportation networks are definitely getting more complex to say the least. This is still nothing like Factorio freight forwarding, but uh, it's pretty cool. I can't lie. All right. Anyways, thanks guys for everything. Until next time, keep on tracking. Take care. We will see you then. Bye bye.